What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, July 11th. We've got the computer guru. I mean, this guy knows everything there is to know about computers, uh, about printers, about phones, you name it. Right. I'm talking about Robert Ricketts, IT Como. Good to have you here, Thanks, Robert. Paul. Great to be back. And, and I, I say that sincerely because you amaze me whenever we talk about the depth of knowledge that you have about this. Mm -hmm. Um, Today, you wanted to deal with the different types of printers, right? right? Talk about printers, yeah. Okay, so there are two basic types of printers. Right, so the major printer technology is inkjet, which is little cartridges of liquid ink that we've all had to buy and pay a lot of money for. Mm -hmm. And then laser printers, which uses a dry toner powder. We talk about the pros and cons. So which is better? Yeah, let's see, that's just it. Neither one is really better than the other. They each have their strengths. So Which is the most expensive to use? Inkjets are the Ink most jet expensive. Is- but which is the most expensive printer to buy? Well, lasers typically, but there's some exceptions there. So the pros and cons for the inkjet, for example. Inkjets are cheap to buy. You can buy a printer for 80 bucks, yeah. maybe 100 But then the ink costs a fortune. So that's the cheap printer, but expensive consumables business model that the printer manufactures. That's where they make all their money, is on the ink. the ink. That's why they make it difficult to use third-party ink. They want you to buy their expensive ink. And that right, and now I know, now we bought a printer not very long ago, and they want you to sign up for them to deliver the ink to, mail the ink to you that's right. automatically. Once a month or however often yeah, it needs yeah. to be to keep And that's a moneymaker for them. That's right, yes. So they lose money on, on uh, selling you the printer, but they make it with the ink. With the ink, right. Okay. Can you take those cartridges and refill them yourself? You can, but the manufacturers are making that ever more difficult. In fact, we had a local company here that that was in business for many, many years that was refilling ink and, you know, finally just got to be too difficult. Okay. And with the technology of trying to refill the ink yourself. So, the you buy the inkjet printer, it's cheaper, but you spend more for the cartridges. Right. Then let's go to the laser. So with the laser printer, the printer itself costs quite a bit more, but the toner it's, is cheaper. It's a little cheaper to operate the printer. Now what is toner? Toner is like colored baby powder. It's a very fine baking soda baby powder like substance. And it's in the different colors, red, blue, and, and yellow, and then black. So there's four of these cartridges, these big toner cartridges that are in the printer. But the advantages of laser is they're a lot faster. The paper comes out dry. It's crisper. The text is crisper. It looks better. And that powder won't rub off? Nope. Nope. The powder goes through a thing called a fuser, which is a really hot roller inside, and it kind of bakes that powder onto the paper. Well, that's why when the paper comes out, it's kind of warm. It's warm, yes. Okay, so it's, it's, it's... Baked into the paper That's itself. Right. That's right. And it's not going to smear. It's nope. not going to come off. When the toner is first applied, then, yeah, you could rub it off with your fingers, and it's quite a mess. But after the toner is applied to the paper inside the printer, the very next section of the printer, and this is all inside the printer, yeah. there is a drum that rotates. It's very hot, and that bakes the powder onto the paper. So by the time it comes out to you, it's fused. It's clean. The ink, The paper excuse me, the toner will not come off the paper, even if it gets wet, and makes for a a good quality print. As far as the environment, which one of the printers are better for the environment? Uh, Yeah, I don't know if I can answer that question. I mean, they, you both you have expenses with both and disposables like the printer cartridges, and then with the little tanks, you have the tanks that you're throwing away. Now, some of the laser manufacturers have a program where you can send the cartridge back to them so they can refill it with their factory t- 
toner and then sell it again. I think, and I think uh, now with some of the uh, uh, inkjet printers too, if you sign up for the company to make sure that you never run out of ink, you send back the cartridge and they refill it. Well, they yes, you can send them the cartridge and they refill it and maybe someone else would get that cartridge. But it's still expensive ink. Now, in the inkjet world, there's these new so-called eco tank printers where they get where the tank inside is a lot bigger than the little cartridges that you would normally buy uh -huh. and when those run down you can put in extra ink that's su supplied by the printer manufacturer so it's genuine factory ink but but it has a much larger print capacity several thousand pages before you have to re-ink okay. those you know what i find amazing though is the fact that those printers are able to mix the colors instantaneously, <laughs> give you really true to life That's color. Right, yep. All of that is computerized, isn't it? Yes. And those little droplets of ink are microscopic as they're sprayed on the paper and can mix those colors right there on the paper. So. That's why your full page photos look as good as they do. Yes. Yeah, when you, when yeah. you think about that, it really is mind boggling what technology has done. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we take that all for granted. <laughs> Do you, what, what, what do you see for the future? Do you see any of this changing? Or? Well, I mean, the printers are, the printer technologies that we have, the laser and the ink jets have both been around for probably 30 or 40 years. I don't really see that changing, changing. too much. But people are printing less now yeah. than they used to. Because of the expense. Well, I just came into the wireless printer age not very long ago. <laughs> And I thought, wow, this is really nice. Now I can print from the phone. <laughs> well, the expense is part of it, true. But I think folks are having less need for paper. So yeah. in my work, I see fewer printer issues and, and people buying fewer printers. Yeah, than everything, years ago. everything's going digital. It's and all online. Thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if people want more information ab about this, are you able to help them out? Oh, certainly. And I have a page on my website that discusses in a lot more detail about the inkjet about the pros and between... cons, the different printers, okay. what you should buy, etc. So if, you, if, you, if you're thinking about buying a new printer and you're not sure which way to go, you can go to uh, a Robert Rickett website, itcomo.com. Itcomo.com. Right. And there will be a section on there dealing with with printers right at the top of the page i have a link called radio friends which leads to all of the different shows we've done together and okay. there'll be a link right there okay about. and you can and you can uh, get all the in details yes all right robert thank you so much for coming by it's a pleasure having you here and i learn something every time you're <laughs> here one of these times i want you to do a a, a segment on how the cell phone works and how it finds us wherever we are in the world sure. during our number. I can do okay. that. Okay? If there's something that you would like to hear or see, I would love to hear from you. Drop me an email. That's pepperp at missouri.edu. And of course, his email, I mean, his web address, itcomo.com. Bye-bye.